she physically assaulted me. Um, there was just blood everywhere, broke my door, bedroom door. I was really scared for my life because I've never seen her in that state. state. She, she was out of, she was very, going crazy. Um, I, there was a time when she mentioned she wanted to kill me, she wants to kill me. Um, so, and the way she was, she, it, I thought she was going to kill me on that day. You share a lot of your life, but you don't necessarily share your life. Um, because I found that people who do skits or are into comedy, they're very skillful in being able to share a bit of trauma, but mask it with laughter and jokes, um, sort of uh, gravitating away from the pain so that everybody else um, laughs. Would you think you do that a lot? And that's why you're so into skits and comedy. Um... You're actually right because um, I could put I could, I could put it in this way: we we escape the pain through skits hmm. and entertaining people. Um, we are human at the end of the day. We also go through stuff. And what I've realized is that a lot of us skit creators, we have problems. We experienced a lot of trauma, so the only way out to escape pain is just you know what? Let me just entertain people. Let me just take my camera and just speak nonsense yeah, and make yeah, people laugh. Yeah. And then when you and, and then it just makes the pain better when you get this positive feedback. People laugh with laugh with you, the positive comments. People like you. Others look up to you. Just like oh, but actually, I can, you know, there are people that actually like me out here. You know, yeah. Mm, yeah, that yeah, keeps us yeah. going and going and going. But also there are days where it's just like you go back to back to the pain. And sure. for to me now, my bedroom is my my escape. It's my if 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 I could just sit in my bedroom and close the door and just switch off my phone, that's literally me. And I, and people find it so weird when I tell them, "Khore nah, actually, I'm not a people's person. Um, I may be flamboyant. I may be, I may be, I may look like I'm. I've got it figured out, or I'm on this sure, girl. Sure. But I, 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 if it was up to me, I would just sit in my bedroom at twenty four seven. Extrovert on camera, introvert in real life. Thank you. Ne? Simple way to explain it. Speaking of pain that uh, a, a lot of people who do what you do have, have been able to, to, to shield through entertaining others, what is the biggest or the most painful thing you've gone through in your life? It's actually two of them. It's actually two. Those are the most painful, um, traumatic experiences that I've been through. The first one is losing my mom. I, I, I was 13 years old. I was in grade seven. <laughs> And I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Um, I'm still in primary, ma'am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm about to now step into high school. I need you, you know. And and I had so much hope, Shem. Yeah. I had so much hope that my mom would survive. My mom has been in and out of hospital. She has been through the worst a sleepless night sometimes because we used to share the bed I would sleep with my mom and I, I would see her I would most of the time when she gets these attacks and she would get sick and I'm the first person to jump in you know yeah, yeah. and but the last 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 time I was like I, I know this woman she, she's got it man sure. she'll figure it out sure I but then I, I realized her, mm -mm, it's actually getting worse and the last two days hey they were really hectic I'm not gonna lie but I just told myself, my mom is a fighter. Hmm. She's she's been through the worst. Clearly, this is just smalling and things. But the next day, I got a call. My mom was gone. And I was like, oh Jesus, what then? Hmm. And hmm. it's just built this confusion in my mind. What else? What are I gonna do tomorrow? Is life gonna be the same when she's gone? Yeah. And I had my sister. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Life wasn't rosy. Uh, we tried to 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 live together, continue with life. We had our ups and downs as siblings. Mm -hmm. It happens, mm -hmm. um, but it really got worse. It, it it never got better. The second trauma is 
um, when she assaulted me. Of which it didn't start. Uh, I, I had told her recently. It's, 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 it's something that's been happening. It's after my mom off, after my mom passed away. Growing what is, up, what is assault? Assault to me is uh, physically uh, attacking me. Okay, that's assault. Yeah, yeah. So um, started when my mom passed away, uh, just a year after, which is I was in grade eight. So you're still a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just didn't. I think let me just make it clear. I, I, I I'm not saying as a child I don't want to be reprimanded, but the way the 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 way you reprimand me, say, mm -hmm. it's that's my problem. So sure. she's a she's a very she's she's very quiet, but she, she has a hand. Um, she reacts very quick, and I'm not, I'm really not that kind of person. So it just built it built up from grade eight, nine, ten up until finished my trick. Um, hey, the the last two years of varsity, it was a lot. I think her and I were just tired of each other. Hmm. Um, she physically assaulted me. Um, there was just blood everywhere, broke my door, bedroom door. I, I was, I, I was really scared for my life because I've never seen her in that state. state. She, she was out of, she was very, going crazy. Um, I, there was a time when she mentioned she wanted to kill me. She wants to kill me. Um, so, and the way she was, she, it, I thought she was going to kill me on that day. Hey family, a quick one. Over 87% of you are consuming this content every single week, but are not subscribed. That means you are enjoying the growth conversations, but you are not liking, you are not subscribing, and you are not sharing it with others. So please, I plead with you, please subscribe so that you can share the love, you can share the growth, and you can share this wonderful platform and wonderful safe space with others as well. Enjoy the episode. So, you know, um... It just, it broke me so hard. Mm -hmm. it, it really broke me because she's the only person that I have. Yes, I have other family members, but uh, she was the only person, the only person I had. So after the assault, um, then came um, school fee stuff. I had to pause school a little bit because then she stopped paying for my fees. My, 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 my life literally became a mess. I had to move out of my house, go stay with a friend. Now a friend says, my friend, you, yes, we're staying with me, but also you need to help with groceries and electricity. Tell them, tell them I'm not working. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just asking to stay with a friend that stays closer to school, yeah, just so I can yeah. be able to walk to school yeah, and yeah. make it to school. Yeah. You get to school then, you get blocked from entering campus. It's a lot. My life became a mess. So, yeah, man, that's the, that's the pain that I'm trying to, to deal with. I'm trying to deal with the pain of losing my mom, the pain of losing my sibling, because my sister, because we, we don't talk anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's her number. I, I doubt she has my context. We don't talk. I don't know where she is, what she does with her life. She also doesn't know what's, what's happening in my life. So I could basically say I'm, I'm, I'm starting from, from scratch. Yeah. I'm starting from the bottom. Because cool. honestly, my, my, I lived a very good life. Trust me. My mom, my mom's still alive. I lived a very good life. My mom used to do literally anything and everything for me. And um, and also shame my sister, I'm not going to lie, she tried. She tried to also at least keep up the standard. Yes, mama, she's no longer, but I will try to do this and this. And sure. But then also in the middle of the whole um, situation, we, there are fights that I don't like, that I don't agree with. She would, she has a hand, that's, that, that's her. So I, I always uh, complained all the time wrote messages to my family that, okay, please talk to my sister. I don't like this. I don't like that. And yeah, so that's the kind of pain that I'm currently dealing with. And and I'm starting from a scratch. I'm, I'm trying to bring back myself, you know, trying to gain myself. And yeah. You know, even like, in the midst of pain, in the midst of confusion, even when we are on the receiving end of abuse, we mm. still have thoughts that we think maybe because we're so desperate to fix the situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i know that one of the thoughts that we think is what went wrong what did i do yeah how did i contribute yeah or what was the source of it yeah when you have those thoughts what do you think was the source of it or was there any source um her, her reason why her reason was uh, you don't listen okay 
When I say this, you do this. Um, but then I, I would then say, okay, I'm a child. At, 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 at that time I was a teenager and it was bound for me to make mistakes. I do mistakes. All I wanted from her was to say to me, you did this, you did that, I don't like. But then what she would do is she would then decide to resort to keeping quiet and saying, because you messed up here, um, I'm going to punish you by not talking to you. And it would go for three weeks, six weeks, six months. And what, also, she's mad at me. She doesn't talk to me, but I need her. She's my only garden that I have. Hmm. I'm still in school. I need pocket money. I need books. I need this. I need that. When I go and ask, yes, but when I go and ask, um, I need this, she keeps quiet. So the thing of, okay, but where do I go? <laughs> where do I go? So at some point, it was really hard for me to know exactly what the problem might be. And even when I would go and I say, okay, dude, okay, I did this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm just a child, man. It had to get to a point where I, every time I, I had to apologize, even when I know I'm not wrong. Mm. And just for the sake of peace, and I would say, okay, ask you, I, um, let's, let's move on. But knowing the kind of person that she is, um, that's her way of punishing me, not talking to me. A, not doing things for me because yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um w would you also looking back would you think because when you're younger right mm -hmm. um growing up in black communities yeah uh there is less tolerance for people who are of alternative sexualities mm -hmm. do you think there was also it also came from a point that she hated you because at, when you're young and you're becoming mm. you start expressing that sexuality that yeah. you truly are yeah and the gender that you truly are do you also think that contributed let me tell you then so i i fully 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 came out when i was in grade eight okay that's a year after my mom passed away sure so uh, you can imagine for her she's dealing with the loss of her mom the following year her, her father passes away also mm -hmm. um so she's basically she's dealing with loss of both parents um She's now a mother to me and she's still in school, mm -hmm. varsity. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother had to move in with us. And so now she's a mother to two people. Mm -hmm. So, and then now all of a sudden I'm bringing up this thing. Okay, no, man, I'm not listen, a boy anymore. Um, I'm not a boy anymore. <laughs> so I, I kind of understand where she was, but also okay. I wanted her to understand that, ma'am, you, 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 it's not like this is the first time you see me behaving like this. Mm -hmm. You've mm -hmm. seen, you've, you've seen the signs, but yes, also sure. I think this is the time for me to say, okay, listen, this is who I am now. Mm -hmm. So for her, it kind of, she, I, she didn't take that well. Um, and she, she, she made sure that I feel that I don't accept this. I don't want this. Yeah. And she used to, I remember, um, when I, like if it's at the peak of my, my coming out, when I was like, you know what, now I'm going out makeup stuff dress i would buy like your nail polish makeup bags makeup stuff girls clothes skinny jeans and she would throw them away she would burn them i remember this other morning i was ironing my ski, my white skinny jeans and then she mm -hmm. came to the house she's like um whose pants are those i said they're mine she took them she took a scissor she cut them i cut i cut she took my makeup kit and my nail polish kit she it's had like a petrol paraffin she burnt it. So I think, but I, I, I saw her, okay, now I see the reason. She's, she's, she's not taking it well. Um, and I would ask, I would ask my, my other family to talk to her and ask her, what the, what's the problem? What's happened? Because but then it's not like or I'm that naughty child. Um, I would do the things that you'd ask me at home. Cook, I would cook. Clean, I would clean. Sometimes I would not do it. But also, as, as my one and only sister that I have, hmm. the only surviving parent that I have. Family, even. Yeah, family. Please do understand that this is, this is me. This is me, you know. Um, only later, in a later stage, you find out that, yes, she's, she didn't take it well. After I've called in a family meeting and asked everyone to come st step in and, and talk to her, then she now expresses that, um, I thought I had a brother... Um, I even remember, I thought I had a brother, um, but now it's this, you know. Then, shame, man, slowly but surely she started accepting, you know, I would do her makeup, would go shopping together, you know. So, hey, I, I could say she was dealing with a lot. I was also dealing with a lot. Um, just that her, she was just, she was just too crazy, man.
I, I don't know how she was dealing with it, but now, now all I wanted was her, was her to, to, to understand and, and accept me. And let's heal together, man. We, we're going through this together. Sure, sure. Let's be there for each other. So, yeah. Do you think perhaps the rage comes from the fact that she just hasn't healed? I, my, she, I, I personally feel like she needs counseling or therapy. My sister never speaks. She, she never speaks. She's very quiet. But when she loses it, yo, she becomes a whole different wild person. It's scary. So I think she really needs to, she really needs to speak to someone. She needs to take it easy, man. Um, we all going through it all. And it's just a matter of speaking, speaking out and, and asking for help, speaking to people. I, I'm a, I, believe, I never believed in therapy up until I started going for therapy. And um, back in varsity, we had a, a student council, what, 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 and I would go and speak to them. And after, after that, I would feel so much better, you know? But also, I would, I would have loved to have it with my sister my mom's child, and just sit down with her and say, you know, hey, today, I, 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 it wasn't really a good day for me. I was just missing my mom, yeah, you yeah. know? But she was, I could say, emotionally, she was not there for me. She was just there physically, and yeah. But I, I, I'm a very emotional person. I, I believe in expressing how I feel, you know? But she's not that kind of person. So she really needs to speak to someone. She needs to see therapists, I don't know. Because as she has done a lot of things also outside home to other people as well that I won't mention. It's none of my business. Mm, mm, mm. Of which, which made me realize that she actually needs to see someone because nobody in their right mind behaves like that, you know? So I, I still love her though, but I feel like her and I are fine without each other. She's doing all for herself. I'm also trying to also build, build myself back, you know? Yeah, that's just it. We were a platform that believes in growth, grace, igniting your inner power, um, getting rid of things that uh, impede your journey or, or, or stop you from being your best self. Um, on that line of grace, and now that we've had this conversation of identifying possibly some of the things that could have contributed to her behavior yeah. and uh, you being on the receiving end of what you describe as abuse, um, do you think there is place in your art to forgive her ever and build a relationship again? I'm, let me, I'm going to be honest with you. This is, this is how I feel even now. And I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever decide otherwise. I've forgiven her. I've forgiven her. I have a very forgiving heart, one okay. thing about me. Okay. Um, I believe that I, I will forgive you, but stay where you are. Okay. Um, because I've suffered a lot. Okay. Um, I've just foot after my mom's passing, it was worse. Um, they, to my family, it might look like they've, they've made the at least they tried, but uh, because na, 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 I, I believe that I've just been through so much. I I needed my mom mm -hmm. all every day, mm -hmm. so I've forgiven her. Um, I love her so much. I I know she knows wherever she is. I love I, I still love her so much, but she's she, she must just she's fine wherever she is. Um, yeah, she's she's fine. I, um, no. What about that yearning for family and having a family unit? Doesn't it sometimes cloud your judgment about how you feel about her being far? You know what, Lungelo. Um. I, I had a I, I had a session with myself, you know. Um, like, like I said, my bedroom is my my, my favorite place to be. Um, when I'm in my bedroom, I think a lot. Okay. I overthink. I, yeah. I I realize things. Mm -hmm. I would I would sit down and think, Hore, what if maybe we were to fix things and be fine with each other? And I realized. Her and I are two different personalities. I'm okay. very much of an extrovert, okay. but also an introvert as well. Mm -hmm. She's very, very introverted. Like it's it's deep, deep, deep. In, she's introverted. So um, I think we just fail to accommodate each other's personalities. Um, I'm an outgoing person. My job relies on me going out, networking, and meeting new people. You know, her job is wake up in the morning, going to the office, and coming back. 
So she, she doesn't understand what I need to do for me to be able to say, okay, at least I'm month in, there's, there's an invoice that's going to come in. She doesn't get that. So we, we, we could be fine, but coexisting, I, I don't think it will actually make sense for, mm, for both mm, of us. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's why, Carolina, I've taken a decision. I'm at a point where I'm growing old now. Um, I think it's time now I I, 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 I make things, I, I build my own career now. Sure, I, sure. I, I make sure that I accumulate my own things. I make sure that Nagabu came in and I become independent and not rely, rely on anyone. Because currently, even at home, I don't, I don't have a, I, I don't know I don't have a family, but it's very small. Okay. And I can only pick a few from my family and say, you have family to me. I can, you know, if I can take, give you a call now, they would step in quickly. Yeah. And I've made family outside of how, my home. Sure, sure. My friends are my family. Mm -hmm. I've, I, I have mothers out there, you know. So I can, uh, I, from blood, 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 biological, I don't, I don't have a lot of family. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm ready to, to, to start all over. I've, I've already, I started. I'm ready to grow, build myself up to the top and become a star. That's just, that's just what I'm... Which you are, by the yeah. way. <laughs> um, moving on from that. Yeah. You know, losing your mom, the, the issue with the relationship with your sister. Yeah. Are all forms of feeling rejected. Yeah. Right now, as you say, you have gone into therapy, so you've you, you've seeked psychological help for your situation, for your mental health. Yeah. Um, which I congratulate you for because not a lot of people do that. Yeah. Um, and not a lot of people have the means. So I'm happy that with what with whatever you make, you are taking that decision. Yeah. Um rejection, many of us don't have a healthy relationship with rejection. Yeah. What is your relationship with rejection right now? Um I, c I could say, I don't, you know, I may lie, but I may lie and say I'm fine, I'm all good, but I don't, I don't, I'm a, I'm, I don't really take rejection very well. Okay. Um, when I feel rejected, I feel discouraged. Sure. I feel um, demotivated. Like many um, of us, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I, I'm also trying to, to work on that. That it's okay to get rejected. It's okay not to be accepted and not to be wanted. Hmm. Um, but also, don't just don't don't hold hold on on, on to it. Too don't much. identify with yes. the rejection. Yeah, don't. It's hold happening on to, to you. It yeah. is not you. It doesn't uh, define yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Don't hold on too much onto it because then it affects you. Stick. You then now st you get stuck in, in that position and forget forget that oh shit i also have I actually have a life to live yeah i yeah. have dreams to chase sure. i have a goal to to to, to you know so yeah would oh, you yeah. say that's also how you're dealing with rejection in in the media space because there's a lot of rejection that people don't see you, you see in the media space it's even worse <laughs> it's crazy um, there will always be people that would, would speak negative stuff upon you. There will always be people that would not understand what you do. There will always be people that would say bad things to you. And and I think one thing that as content creators we need to learn is it, it's it's uh, rejection and, and negativity is a thing in our industry. Mm -hmm. We just need to, to learn to focus on the positive side of it. Um, yeah, I think in that way we're able to grow. As, as human beings and as content creators and, and as um, uh, creatives. So I, 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 I don't really, I, rejection from social media, I don't really pay too much attention to it. I think I've overgrown, I, I, I've grown enough to avoid it. Interesting you say that as mm. content creators, we must always know that rejection is part of the package. Yeah. yeah. Um, because, and there'll always be negativity. It's yeah. part of the package. Mm -hmm. um, because like right now, you and I has probably been speaking for 30 minutes reflecting, speaking about forgiveness, speaking yeah. about growth, speaking about inspiration, taking steps towards fixing problems yep. in life. Mm -hmm. But trust me, in the comment section, there'll be a negative comment. I know. <laughs> you I know what I mean? It, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, and, and, you know, I think it's something that we must always be prepared for. Yeah, yeah. Um, prepare for negativity. And prepare for people that would be against you. Mm, you know, it's mm. a thing. It happens. And not, not personally for me, it builds me. Like, Is that okay though, Tato? Because I feel like as humans, it, it shows a flaw in humanity. Mm -hmm. I think we should be prepared for people disagreeing with us, but not negativity. Yeah. Because negativity is toxic. Mm. 
when you're being negative, you're taking something that you're disagreeing with, with. and mm-hmm. you apply evil ways of addressing it. That's what negativity is in the comment section, right? Because you can disagree with something and still be kind. Yeah. You know? Look, look, I want to tell you something. Um, I, I, I personally feel like um, we, we, we have a long way to go. Um, this People don't, just don't want to change. Hmm. People are the way that they are. Um, if 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 you're used to speaking ne- negative things upon people, you oh, that's just you. I I, I not nah, that's just that's a, that's personally I feel like people people really it's it's a choice to to decide what you know. Um, today I I'm gonna be I I just have to change. I need to be I need to look things in a in a positive way. Um, don't, don't just rush to say negative. Check what's happening. Yeah, Check yeah. where this is going. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, nah, nah, that's like, was like nah, social media rejection and, and negative. I, I don't give a F about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't. Do you get a lot of negativity? I mean, you, you, you make co- a, a content that makes people laugh. I Surely do. there's no negativity there. I do. I do. I get comments. People would say, um, Oh, but you're a boy. Uh, why are you doing this? Oh, but you, you're never a girl. You won't understand hmm. girl stuff. Um, uh, why are you wearing this? Um, this doesn't... I, trust me. I may be, I may, my content may be funny and people might look like they... Well, people... Bangrata, obviously. But there are people that would just... Born and they would dedicate a day to saying, see, this one. <laughs> dedicate a ah, day. Yeah. I'm coming for him today. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I do get negative comments I do people say nasty stuff even you go in public when I walk I walk around shopping when I'm doing my, my running my errands I would bump into people that say why did you do this to this I remember even the drama that happened with me and Mugelings back then Yo, I, people came for me they're like oh you want to be like him um why are you why are you causing this unnecessary attention yeah, you know so I'm ah, I'm over it mm. on that yeah is there space for people who are perceived to do similar content to coexist in the industry? Yeah, man. I mean, content is content, guys. Sure, sure. Um, uh, we, we all do the same thing, just that in different u- and unique ways. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So th- there is space, man. I, 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 nah, nah, I, I really don't have a problem. If you do something that I've done before... And would say content that, that is very similar to mine, or it's the exact as exactly as mine. I really do. Born. We content creators, we all about um, telling stories and pushing content, and you know. So, yeah. I'm meeting you for the first time today, and I've met Mokelings once or twice. Um, I've, you know, Mikhail, one thing about Mokel, Mikhail, I always, I always tell him, I say, you're my brother. You are my brother. You're going anyway. Mm. I think. Um, we were just, we, we just, um, both of we, we thought we are, uh, we had pride to, to, to fix our, our problems. No one was, uh, was ready or to say, okay, listen, girl, uh, something came up. You, you did this to me. Let's talk about it. So the thing of, oh, okay, fuck off, fuck off, you know? Um, but um, years later, as I, we were growing, one of us, I, I wouldn't mention who initiated the conversation, but one of us decided to say, okay, um, I think we're grown now and one of us must just take accountability and just bring this forward. Let's talk about it. Um, we can't just let this slide and let this go away just like that. This is a, this is a very good friendship. So we spoke about it. Um, he highlighted how he felt. I also highlighted how I felt and um, how I took the situation. And we spoke about it. We were fine. If I could tell you now, him and I, or her and I are very fine. Sorry about that. Her and I are very fine. We are 100% okay. Um, trust me. I think it's just, it, it just takes communication, man. It takes communication and accountability and just honesty and and be, be, be genuine with each other. And, as, as friends, you must learn to reprimand each other. Correct. So it, it needs to be a norm in friendships that yeah, uh, yeah, tell yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Tell me, reprimand and say, no, I don't like this, I don't like that. So I think we're grown enough now to address situations 
in a very mature way and sure, say, my friend, sure, sure. Um, listen, I don't like what you did. And then they say, okay, I'm sorry about it. Apologize and move forward. So her and I, 100% fine. And all friendships have dips. Yep. It's just that, unfortunately, yeah. you guys are people who are in a public platform. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm glad you're saying there's been maturity, there's been accountability, yeah. mm. because I'll emphasize again, both of you are amazing people in we your are. own right. Oh. You know, you both just want to make others smile, make others laugh. Yeah. Just yeah. bring fun into a room, light up a room, just building your careers. And as I say again, the systems that be want us to be divided. We are stronger together, yeah. mm. you know. We, we have to keep building. Why TikTok as a platform to build your brand? You know, <laughs> um, I, I was telling my girls this other day. I said, you know what? If you didn't use COVID days mm -hmm. to push what you're pushing, mm -hmm. I, I think it's too late, my, my guy. It's <laughs> too late because I think a lot of content creators that are, uh, are doing well, not a lot, but majority of them, that are, are doing well today. I can count a few. We started during COVID. Okay. We started during lockdown. And I think that's when TikTok was still getting introduced. To South Africans. So, yes. So Especially, we then yeah. started doing content and we saw numbers going up and it was moving. So now when I started, I was, I started, it was just, uh, I was, I was playing. I, I remember I was in my, my chorus in my room and it was during lockdown, heavy lockdown. I took my phone. I said, let me just go crazy and speak nonsense. Started there. Um, people didn't like what I, I, I was doing. But I was like, I, let me just try again. Try it again. Positive, positive comments came in. Positivity. People started liking, enjoying, laughing. And I said, then I might as well just push this thing. Sure, sure, sure. So, um, went on and on and about, on and on and on with it. And here we are today. Yeah. So I, I could say it's, it's, it's really that easy to make TikTok content. People laugh on, on TikTok. Yeah, TikTok yeah. will, one time, you will grow. You grow every day. Unlike Instagram. <laughs> TikTok, you will grow every day. You get new people. People, you, a lot of people. We have a lot of people that actually use TikTok in, the, in this whole wild world. Crazy number. A lot. So people do one every day. Swiping up TikTok, TikTok. So I, now I, I, I saw her eye born. If I don't take this opportunity and run with it now, never again. I never got to her. So yeah. Just as a segue, why hmm. do you think it's harder to grow on Instagram? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Instagram is another platform. Yo, I don't know if maybe you need to, to live a fancy life or you need to... I, I always say Instagram, is, it's about aesthetics. Okay. Yeah. So it's about aesthetics, you know. So if if you're not in a in a hotel wearing a bikini, <laughs> you won't get likes, ma'am. <laughs> you won't get riches, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I mean now I, I, that's just according to me. That's how I I, I see it. Just, Instagram is just for aesthetics. TikTok is for fun. So yeah. Many people who sit in that chair. Um are people who have some sort of following and some sort of influence. Mm -hmm. How do you separate yourself from being conditioned or living a life to how many views did I get? How many followers do I get? Versus I'm just tired. Come again. How do you separate yourself from being the person who's obsessed about how many views did I get from just being tired? Okay. Um, Views is what we all want as content creators. We mm -hmm. want views, we want numbers. Mm -hmm. Because then brands are able to say, okay, you've got numbers, you've got views, you've got followers. So it uh, translates into revenue. Yes. Okay. That's what we all want. Sure. And that's it's the honesty. Yeah. It, every content creator will yeah. tell you, yeah. I need views, I need numbers. Yeah. Because yeah. this brand wants to work with me. Yeah. And then, but also we for, we kind of forget that, ish, Konje, there's still me. Hmm. You know, hmm. there's still me as well, but uh, nah, 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 nah. I just need the views. I need, I need numbers just for work. Okay. But also, I, I on, on, on my my content speaks about just me. That's just me. Get at the all. I I don't have two different characters where influencer or then get hurt again. Both. That's just me. Mm. But isn't that scary? Because. Now you're giving hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. that you have combined on your platforms. Tato. When does Tato get to be Tato to herself? No. I, no, no, I don't 
don't know, maybe, but I, no, I'm always me, man. Okay. That, that, I feel like that's just me. The, 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 the life that you, you see, my content, that's just me. Sure. That's me every day. I don't have a double life where this is specifically for content and numbers and then this is specifically for Tato and Aliwani. I feel like that's just me. This is how I live. Um, what you see is what you see. Yeah. In, yeah. And even in yeah. reality, in, in real life. So, yeah. I want to go back to the healing we spoke of that yeah. we're on a journey on. How and where, if any, does spirituality come into your healing process? I mean, okay, what is spirituality? To you, what is it? No, no, no I'm asking you. Spirituality is being connected mm -hmm. in however manner or form mm -hmm. to a power that you believe is more divine than you. And that power influences a lot of how your life goes. That power keeps you centered, keeps your mental health on par. Mm -hmm. Do you have that power that you believe in? First question. Second question, if yes, has it contributed to your healing? Um, does believing in... Okay. Yo, okay, it's about to dribble me now. Okay. Um... Simple terms? I'm trying to digest the question. What, what do you pray to? Do you pray? I do. Who yes. do you pray to? I pray to God. Why do you pray to God? Um, okay, yes. So, um, growing up, mm -hmm. obviously you're a child, you stay at home, and we are told to be going to church on Sunday. In this house, we pray, praise God. Okay. And the Bible is what we read every day. Mm -hmm. And we just, we, every day we'll consume the word of the Lord. And then also um, on the side, there's a thing of um, your late great, great um, parents are your, your, your angels and they guide you. Sure. And then that's a thing of, okay, is, is, is God not my... Be all. Yes, yeah. you know? So... I, I I do pray and I, I I I growing up I was just like okay I'm doing it because at home they do it mm -hmm. but after my mom's passing I I I that's that's the only time I I I I started experiencing the love of God hmm. hence I say today um I will never do anything else besides praying hmm. because um something about praying makes me feel makes me have hope because every time and after praying I become I feel so much better I hear you. You know, so that's the healing. I yes, was I, I just, about. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I tell yeah. you, every time after praying, yeah. I would go through something very bad, or just sit in my bedroom and start crying because I'm a very emotional person. I start crying, and then when I, after praying, I would feel so much better. I would, so I, 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 I could say that after my mom's death, I brought, I, I was brought closer to God. Um, my, sorry, my, 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 my priest would uh, come visit me, and we would have sessions. And she would tell me everything will be okay. But also, Akiri, this is life. This is reality. You would expect that things would turn overnight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just after praying, then things become... No. No. <laughs> but then I still... Process. Yeah, it's a process. And they'll tell you, believe and, and, and just trust and believe in him, you know? And I would go through... And, and I'll still question, what if, if, if God is there, why, 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 why am I going through so much with my sister? Why are we experiencing those, these kind of uh, evil stuff? Why are we fighting? Why are we swearing at each, other, at each other? Why is she assaulting me? These kind of things. But still, I still went back and I prayed. And somehow I would feel so much better. So my heart just told me that I think prayer is... The, God, God does exist for me. Um, I think just continue praying and things will be well. And I think all these campaigns that I've been begging, all these um, gigs that I've been begging, I, I, I strongly believe that it's, it's, it's just God, man. Yeah. You know, he listens and he, he then makes a plan. Yeah. It might yeah. not be a plan yeah. that will yeah. work tomorrow, but he, he listens and says, okay, cool. Um, let me make a plan for you. He makes a plan. You get a campaign. And say, I say, God, thank you. Now I know um, that you are truly indeed existent, you know? So I, I, but also at home, they do press, pr practice um, ancestral stuff. Mm -hmm. And I still find it hard even today to say, okay, um, yes, I will be there, but I don't understand it. Okay. I don't understand because I was never taught about it. Um, we grew up knowing that Mudimu is Mudimu mm -hmm. and Aliwani, but yeah. also we do practice these other um practices we do ancestral stuff what is that i still don't I, i'm not i'm not saying no to it but i don't understand it 
I don't understand. And that's fair. Yeah, it's fair. I yeah. mean, that's how I see, that's my opinion and how I see it. So, in conclusion, just prayer is just my my only way yeah. to. Yeah. I I resort to pay to prayer. Got it, literally everything. If I get a campaign, I will pray. I will thank God. If I get a gig, I will pray and thank God. If I'm going through something, I will pray. If I'm going for an interview, ask God. You know, hmm. that's just me. And and I know others would say, um, how when you are, I, I, we, you know, we, mm-hmm. we, people mm-hmm. would say we are. The real question? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they would say, God, how when you are. Mm-hmm. Okay, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, God doesn't want that. Sure. But I feel like my God is my God. I am who I am today because of him. Yeah. I am built like him. Yeah. So if God really never wanted homosexual people, I think, I, I, I personally feel like Gabe uh, don't exist or Gabe bad things are just coming my way all the time, all the time. But instead of been getting, you know, life is not rosy, but the little that comes in shows that God loves me. Grace. You know? It's called grace. Grace, yes. Right. Thank you. Mm. The book of Second Timothy chapter 2 speaks of even if we are faithless, God mm-hmm. remains faithful because he cannot exist outside of who he is. And God is faithful in his identity. So even in moments where you're faithless, Mm -hmm. even in moments where you think you're not enough, even when society says you're undeserving, Mm -hmm. he is faithful because he can't do anything else. Amen. You know? Amen. (laughs) He can't do anything else. Yes. Yes. That's That's why I I say God God is power. I'm not going to lie. I I know people would say, but we're not the life that you live. Hey, when do you even praise God? When, mm, I'm saying, mm. ma'am, I make time for my God. I make time for my God. We all pray in different ways. If if if, if you normal, if you used to praying in the morning, so be it. If you just pray anyway, any day, any time, so be it. But God is 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 power. God is, exists. God is good. I'm not gonna lie. So that's just me. I na na bona. The second, I'm I'm at a point where I I. I'm healing, I'm growing, um, I, I'm building, yeah. um, I'm hoping for the best. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big dreamer. I, I'm very much ambitious. So I, I'm working towards that. I, 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 I don't want anything that disturbs my peace. I'm tired of going through pain. That's mm. just, I, I'm at a point where it's now we focus on, on, on better things. We yeah, focus on yeah, positivity. Yeah, yeah. Because positive I, direction, mm, growth, I know, yes, healing. I know prob- problems would never go away. Sure, they would never go away, but it's just a matter of um, accepting, dealing with it, um, and moving on. You know, problems are very different when you're connected to God, yeah, because they're always there, they're always there, it's even in the they're book, always that yeah. problems will be there, they are guaranteed, they're always there, mm. but when you're connected to the source. Tato, before I let you go, what's that one thing you know for sure in life? You're absolutely certain of, and you're like, this thing, I believe in. I know, you know what? I, I know I'm going to, I know I'm a star. Okay. I know I'm a star, and I know that when I, when I, when I work, when yeah. I do work, I do it f- from, like, I do it f- with passion, from the depth of my heart. And I know that this is what is meant for me. I know that this is this is what's gonna make you the biggest person in in, in this whole world. This is what's gonna make you I am um, big, the biggest star, and this was what's gonna bring you the life that you want. I know I'm very good with what I do, um, I, but also you know our industry. You need to work very hard for you to get to where you wanna be. So I also know that I'm very <laughs> very beautiful, um, and I'm very smart as well. I know. So I, and I, it's just a matter of just getting being focused and dedicated and committed, um, consistent. Then ah, bona, and and pray as well, you know, and pray for everything that I want, everything that I'm I'm working on, you know, and just let God be and just let God work, and the rest just relax, take it easy. God knows what He's doing. Tato Marule says. Be confident in who you are, work towards your purpose, and let God do the rest. I'll see you guys on the next episode.
Introducing the epitome of luxury living, Galu Luxury Villas and Suites, your private sanctuary of opulence and elegance. Nestled amongst the lush, sun-kissed landscapes of Durban, KwaZulu-Natal, this Galu Luxury Villa is a paradise of tranquility, offering breathtaking panoramic views of the neighborhood. Step into a world of refined luxury where every detail has been meticulously crafted to create an atmosphere of sophistication and comfort. This villa is kept within a gated and secure property for your peace of mind. The Kalu Villa is available for both short-term and long-term stays, making it the ideal location for your next vacation or special event. This villa boasts spacious living areas and floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural light, making you feel at one with the surrounding beauty paired with multiple terraces, an outdoor lounge and a dining area. Live the dream, make memories and indulge in the life you deserve. Contact us today to book your stay or to learn more about this exquisite property. Your oasis of opulence awaits.